We're going to go from our projected views, uh, our orthographic projection, and we're going to add first a new sheet. So we're going to come down the bottom here to quick add, and we're going to go through and do some parts drawings. So new sheet. Um, so we're starting off blank again. We need to come up to base view. Select base view. Now our scale for these is going to be very important. We're actually going to go a scale of one is to one. So they're going to be quite large. Remember, we're only doing one part, not the whole. So let's start off with a top view. And we're going to go with a top view. We're going to place that at the top. Uh, we want it to be a line drawing. And we're going to click OK. Now, on this image, we have all our parts. And we don't want to see all our parts. So if we come over to our left-hand side, I'm going to deselect handle. And you'll see the handle's gone. I'm going to deselect the side. You can see the side's gone. We're now just left with the one part. I'm going to go to projected views, select our base view, and project a side view. Now, like I said, it's not very complex, our, our base shape, um, and I might just move that down a little bit. Uh, you can see as I move the base shape, the projected drawing also moves. Uh, and the last thing I'm going to do on this page in, in terms of adding drawings is to add another base drawing. Uh, but I'm going to do it from northeast. We might try one as to three. So I'm going to paste that in there. I want that to be shaded, so I want all the texture on there so I know what it should look like. I'm going to click OK. And again, then I'm going to deselect the handle and the side on that drawing on, on the left hand side here so I just have that one part. Uh, parts table comes in, and I'm going to do a parts table off. my pictorial view, that way I'll get the um, description bubble coming off that view as well. So again, we've got to link that into the corner, double click on it, turn it the right way up. We haven't got a description, which is good. We don't want the, the description on there. And we're going to click close. Now with our identification bubbles, um, it's a personal preference, I suppose, but I do like to get those um, as as in line as I can um, to match the 30 degree angle of my pictorial view. Lastly, we need some dimensions. So we're going to come up to the dimensions tab. Let me click on dimension. I'm going to select the top corner on each side, drag out my dimension and place it. And I'm going to go another dimension down the side and place that one. And the final dimension, and I might need to zoom in here a little bit for this, is actually go from the top at the top that gives us our thickness. So if we fit that to screen, you can see we have the dimensions 200 by 200, it's three millimeters thick, and this is what it should look like. That's the first of our drawings completed.